What is going on guys, it's Jared. I was going to record this on the laptop, but the laptop for some reason is being uh, slow, so I'm just going to record it here. Yes, my hair looks like crap. Yes, I have a zit right on my lip, and it sucks. Looks like I have herpes or some shit. But, yesterday I got a text from Muhammad, and by the way, today I should be working. It is the 24th of July, it's a Wednesday, it's 1.27pm. I was planning on going to work at, at I was going to leave at around 11.30. 40 ish and then I went to grab my phone and thank God I saw my text because it said Jarrett do not he said Jarrett with two R's and an E and a T spelled my name wrong first of all but anyways um I said Jared don't come in tomorrow I will call you when I need you and I'm not sure if that's a bad thing it kind of sounds like it's a bad thing kind of sounds like he's downgrading me like degrading me rather um like oh you're gonna call me when you need me what does that mean? This is not supposed to be a temporary or on-call job. This is a, a schedule job. That's what I'm thinking right now, you know? So, uh, I was thinking about it. Maybe he's pissed that I, I left work. Um, damn, man, I can't look at my hair like this. Maybe he's pissed that I left work on uh, Monday. That could be the possibility. So I'm just going to take this with me. That, that is one possibility. That's what I'm thinking. Um, or, you know what? Because he didn't seem like he was mad. He didn't that mad about it. He was like, go home. And, I mean, yeah, he wasn't that happy about it, but he had Juan there and Kanar, all of them, so one of them could have, like, covered for me anyways. That's what I was thinking. So, anyways, I have to put this hat on because my hair looks ridiculously stupid. There, now it looks better. See, now I look more normal, except who wears a winter hat during the summer. Well, guess what I do because my hair looks stupid if I don't. Anyway, guys, so, um, it's actually a pretty good idea putting this against the laptop. Yeah, 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 it's like the webcam kind of, but, um, yeah, then again, I thought, maybe he might, I thought about this, he might be upset because I had so much overtime last week, I worked like 58 hours, that's like, that's like, what, 18 hours of overtime? I think, I'm not really sure, if I'm doing that wrong, then, then, whatever, but, it's a lot it's a lot more than I've ever had over time, okay? I've had a few hours, like five, six, seven hours even, but never fifty eight hours. Something maybe you want to cut down my hours because apparently people, companies don't like to give overtime. So maybe that's a possibility. Um But And then again, maybe there's another possibility. It's starting in, like, the summer's kind of getting to an end almost. So, the airport might be being, a, maybe it might get a little bit slower because it's not as, like, uh, busy in the winter. So, maybe, you know, maybe, or, you know, maybe that's why he doesn't want me to work today because ST doesn't expect it to be that busy. Maybe that's, that's the thing. I'm not really sure. But, um, but he might be mad, and maybe it was the wrong thing for me to do. I was just, the thing I was thinking in my mind, I was like, oh, fuck, you know, what if I lost all my information off my iPod, which I didn't because I found a program on the computer, which is awesome, that after, like, trying to open two other programs, which for some reason they wouldn't open on my computer, I'm not really sure why, but they wouldn't. And after that, I found another program, and that finally opened, and then I saw, like, things that I had saved on my iPod before. So that's cool. Now that I know that, you know, it's fine. But I was very worried about that. And I was also thinking, like, the longer I wait, the less of a chance it will have to get fixed. When, in fact, I shouldn't have to worry about that. Because when I got home, I talked to a lady on the Apple site, which Apple customer service is really good. And she said that, oh, there was... I, she thought I wanted to go to the one in PBD, which I did originally plan to. So I don't blame her. But she said the next available point would be Wednesday at 9. That's as if I'm working every day at 12, you know, thinking that way. But, um, but then later I talked to another guy, which I'm happy I talked to this guy. He was saying that, oh, you know, he's like, oh, I have an appointment for today and tomorrow. And then he's like, oh, sorry, I read that wrong. But then he told me, oh, you know what, though, there's, I, would you, if you want to go to Cambridge, there's openings for tonight, and, you know, and I was like, oh, that's awesome, really? 
And he's like, yeah, and then he gave me a time to go to Cambridge. So after I got out of work, went to Cambridge, went to the iTunes store, which I don't even know why they need an appointment. They should, due to the appointment not being really an appointment, it should just uh, be just a walk-in thing, I guess. But nonetheless, um, appointment. So I went in, and, it, and then he didn't even try to repair it. He just... I told the guy what happened and dropped him water, and then he said, well, usually in the situations, we just take this one, replace it, and then you just have to buy the replacement. Which, going in, I knew I had to pay either $99 for either get repaired or to get a replacement, either one. If they couldn't fix it, then the replacement for $99. So, either way, I was expecting to pay $99, which is kind of expensive, but it's half the price I would have to pay for a brand new one, so I guess it's not that bad. So, I spent $300 on my iPod. Oh, yeah. So I got a new one. It restored the apps and the music back on, which those things are the ones that really don't matter that much because I could just download them over again. It didn't restore the the pictures or the notes or anything like that, which is kind of stupid or contacts. But I can with the the new um, program I have, which if I buy the full version, it's only twenty five dollars. So I think that's a pretty good deal. I don't know how much money I have in my bank though. Probably like less than two hundred now. I mean, I've been spending and. Yeah. But I should get a pretty good check this Thursday. That's if I have work Thursday, which is tomorrow. But yesterday I played, um, off that subject. Yesterday, the other day when, actually the day that my iPod broke, I downloaded, bought something off iTunes for the first time forever, which is the Immortal Technique Revolutionary Volume 2 album which it is a pretty sick album and it it's worth ten dollars definitely so I'm happy about that and I also downloaded the um the We Came As Romans album which the reason why I downloaded it not because I was like oh my god I love We Came As Romans so much because I like them but I got kind of like ah uh, they're all right you know I got to that kind of stage with them but now their new album is dirty like I love it it's great their other album was good but this one's better it's a lot better the singer has a lot more talent in his uh voice his vocals the screaming is sick. I like the lyrics. I love it. The new album is gold. It's good. Could possibly get album of the year. I don't know. But there's a lot of been been a lot of good albums this year. For me, anyways, my album of the year version. But um So, the last couple weeks, ever since like maybe two weeks ago, or around where I got my hard drive around two weeks ago, my Xbox like started like going to programs a lot faster. For some reason, I'm not sure if it's because I have more memory on my Xbox, maybe that's why, or because Xbox upgraded their RAM or like quickness, but shit, it turns on, it gets to on within like 10 seconds. That's crazy. It used to like take a long time sometimes. And go to Hulu, it used to take forever. And YouTube, same thing. But they they both load very quickly now for some reason. And you know, the last like month, or maybe ever since I have, well, yeah, maybe ever since around the time I've had my job, you know, I used to always have the schedule where I wouldn't be able to sleep past a certain time most of the time. I mean, there'd be times where I'd be like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'd be really tired and I'd be able to sleep. But most of the time, I'd wake up around 7, 7, 8. Just because of, like, past, um, relationship or some whatever. But now, I, I mean, I slept today till about 9. I mean, that's not that late, but I don't want to be sleeping all day either. I don't really like that. I expected to work, too, so. If I had looked at my phone yesterday, I would have saw that I wouldn't have work today. But I didn't, so, well. This is a good thing I saw it before. See, I'm not sure if Muhammad's mad at me because I left, which he shouldn't really be that mad, I don't think. It was a kind of dumb reason, but. Or, like I said, I had a lot of overtime, and I think they do the payroll on Monday, so you probably notice it then, like, after. It's probably like, oh, shit. Because, you know, uh, I'm in was like, take it easy, my man. Or, um, take care, my man. He said that. Like, you know, he wasn't mad at me or anything. Nobody really really mad. I think Juan would, might have been a little mad because he probably, he probably thought, oh, shit, I'm going to have to stay a little longer. But nobody was really mad. I mean, Kenji really didn't have any comments about it. But... Facebook, once again, man, they've updated their fucking shit how many times this year? I don't know, dude, but now, instead of all the notifications, friend requests, and messages being on the left, they're all now on the right, and instead of saying, uh, profile or settings, it says, 
your name. It says my name, Jared. And then it just has the F on the left side. And what's cool about it, though, is you can, like, see all oh, friends that I have liked now or uh, pictures I have liked. You can, like, really, like, search in detail now. It's pretty cool. That's, that's what's really cool about it. But I don't like how they keep changing the layout so much. Like, it's kind of annoying. <sighs> like, damn. Let us, like, try this for, like, a few months to, like, a year before you change it. Like, stop changing it so much. It's just annoying, but... Whatever, it's not really that big of a deal to complain about. Uh, the whole feeling thing is pretty cool, too. Though I've only used it once, because you can only use it off the laptop, which is kind of dumb. They could use it with mobile, it would be better. But, whatever. You can only do so much with a mobile device, I suppose. Ooh, but I played COD for the first time. Yesterday was actually combat training. I only played like one match, I think. Yeah, because I wasn't doing that good. I was doing shitty, man. I went like 30 and 10. Yeah, I won. I didn't even get my dogs, though. I was playing Black Ops 1. I actually played Free For All and Summit, and that was it. I got, I was done after that. Like, I don't know. Call of Duty for me, it's not because I got a job. It's just because playing the same thing over and over again, you know, for days, within years, you know, it gets to be not so much of an enjoyment anymore, it's more of just like a daily life routine. You know, it kind of took the, the, the fun out of it for me. Like, I can play wrestling, I can have fun. I can play, um, even the Perfect Dark game, that's kind of fun. I wish I'd bought it when I did, because I'm not paying fourteen ninety nine for it. You know, I'm ready for something new, though. I'm ready for something new, because I'm ready to be thrilled again, I'm ready to have fun again. I'm not really that interested in Call of Duty Ghost so much. I could care less. Because you know what? It's going to be Call of Duty. It's the same fucking thing. That's the way I see it, man. And soon I don't think Call of Duty's going to be there, you know? And... What the fuck, man? What do, you, what do you want from me? So this is my first video I'm doing with my new iPod. I'm going to upload it. Probably delete it. And then, um... I'm going to have to restore my iPod with that thing. I don't know if I have to buy the full version. But if I do, oh, well, I'll buy it, I guess. $24.99... Not bad, because you can view all your stuff on your iPod, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. I'm glad that it backed up. All the times I was like, oh, it's so annoying that it's backing up, but I'm kind of glad it backed up. But yeah, the new Facebook thing is pretty cool. Uh, you can search for things in detail and uh, see how you're feeling. But that was, that was like a month ago when you could say how you're feeling. But yeah, I'm on the, I'm kind of in agreement with blah 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 what he said about why he quit Call of Duty or video games in general. Just because, you know, all the joy is gone. When you're first learning a game, it's fun. And yeah, he's ten times better than me. I'm still learning Call of Duty in a way. Because, I mean, I think that this is what happened with me. I sucked, and then I got good, and I thought I was better than Patrick. So I was like, oh, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm already good. So I didn't try to get better, any better, and... That's what happened, and, and I didn't get that much better, because, pff, shit, if I had thought that, oh, you know what, I suck, I still need to get better, no matter what, like, over and over again, even if I was better than who knows who, you know, then I'd probably be getting better and better, but since I thought that, oh, I'm better, so I don't really need to, uh, it doesn't matter anymore, you know, I'm, I'm good enough, kind of that mentality fucked it all up, so, but yeah, I'm in agreement, blah, 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 Call of Duty, it's old now. I haven't even been playing since Call of Duty 4. I've been playing since Modern Warfare 2 came out. Now it's 2009, so 2009, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so four years. I mean, that's a long time to be playing one franchise, one game, a lot. I got bored. That's the way it is. Even zombies. I, I haven't played Black Ops in like almost two weeks now. I just played Black Ops 1 to play combat training. I haven't played Buried, not because Buried's a bad map, because I like Buried, it's actually a pretty nice map, but, it's just not the same, man. The thrill's gone, the amazement's gone. And now that I know the truth about all the world being so, uh, conspired, or, um, corrupted, rather, you know, just kind of, I don't know, man, it's like all these things are distractions for us. I'm not being distracted from what's going on in the real world, though. I don't care who sees this video. I don't care if you are a government. I don't care if you're the leader of the Bilderberg. Let me tell you right now, Mr. Bilderberger. 
you're not taking over this world. I don't care if people think we're crazy because there we are conspiracy theorists, which I don't consider myself a conspiracy theorist. I consider myself a person that looks more into information that everybody else should be looking into, but since they're so fucking brainwashed, they don't think that's necessary. They trust everything the government says. They trust the news media. They trust the mainstream media. I mean, I trusted it too, but shit. I learned it the hard way. Well, not the hard way, but I learned, you know? And I am. I'm, I'm worried about this world. I'm worried about the financial collapse. I'm sure that's going to happen soon. 16, 17 trillion dollars in, in debt. Come on, man. How do you get that much? Mr. Barack Obama. Fuck you. And it's not even Barack Obama's fault either. I mean, he's just a fucking pawn in the game. Just like the rest of you sheep. But fuck you, Mr. Bilderberg. How dare you try to take our way our rights? How dare you try to make this a one world nation? Or uh, try to make a new world order? Fuck that. Okay? Fuck that. That's all I got to say about that. And, uh... Good job, though. He has fooled for a while. And now since the internet's out and everything's widespread, fuck you. You're not taking our internet away. Fuck CISPA. Fuck SOPA. And fuck anything else with the pa. Okay? Because you know what? It's our freedom to say what we want to say. And you're not fucking taking that away. You, I don't even know what to call you. I feel if I called you a do douchebag, it would um, downgrade douchebags. You know, I feel like it doesn't do justice. You guys are just wrong in every particular situation you think you're right at. Anyways, guys. Shit. See, this is what I have to do all day when I don't have a job, man. I have no friends here. It sucks. I don't like not having friends. Wish I had a friend. I'd be like, yo, yo, come over. Yo, come over and play some Call of Duty. Or, or come over and we can go uh, smoke a blunt. Or, uh, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the mall, man. Like, anything. Let's go to the beach, bro. Like, what the fuck? I have no friends. It sucks. So, anyways. Thank you, guys. Take it easy. Peace out.